Hello everyone, this is the 500 video and as a Schwerpunkt's tradition for every 100 video we make a channel update which is the chance to look a bit about the channel, talk about it, how it's faring, what's new and other communications. Uh, I think it's it's interesting because um, Schwerpunkt is, you know, in every YouTube channel it's not just a passive deliverer or sharer of information. I care also on about the uh, the general perception that you get about how this thing is handled and what um, you know the, the, the way I approach certain issues about how I you know are relatively doing the interactions etc and um, if you go in the historian playlist you'll see that I've made this other uh, channel updates and really not mm, not much has changed from the last time you know Schwerpunkt is growing as it was uh, you know expectable. Um, it, it grows slowly because we arrived here at 776 subscribers, wow, which, which is actually a lot from, from my perspective. It's not maybe for 500 videos, but in general uh, I know how uh, at this point uh, this channel works in terms of uh, views, uh, etc. and maybe we'll talk about that later. Um, but first of all I wanted to thank you a lot for uh, the subscriptions, the appreciations in general, the, the fact that you follow me. I want to thank uh, everybody, also those people who don't have a YouTube account, who even if they follow me from from the outside and say, uh, even if they're not subscribers. And um, that, that's really important for me. I must say that cynically speaking that sometimes I look at that, you know, and uh, it's just a number. But then every once in a while, I stop thinking, and I say, "Wow, this is these are m more than 700 people who decided that following this channel is somewhat relevant to to their interests." I realize it's often like like a bookmark, right? There is just a core of faithful followers that that uh, actually watch uh, almost every single video, right? But you are uh, uh, an elite, uh, let's say, uh, the happy few for uh, your own choice, I would say. Uh, I'm very thankful towards you, I tell you again, uh, even when I say it at every video and uh, that I thank you for the attention, for listening to me, it, it's really meant, you know, it's not just mechanical reason for which I didn't record it once and just attach at the end of every video, but I say it every time because I really want to make you understand that I care and I appreciate uh, that a lot. And of course not for me, like uh, in this, in, you know, under certain points of view, I am a deliverer. I consider myself just as a deliverer, meaning that I, I hope that your interest is um, not in, in me, but I, I, in the historical topics that, that I cover. Um, and naturally, the two things are somewhat intertwined, because uh, I have my own ways of telling things that sometimes it's not the brightest one, but that even at least uh, influences or renders these topics uh, in a way that is partly maybe the reason why you, you want to listen to it. Um, I'm not m particularly worried about the way uh, the rate Schwerpunkt is growing, uh, chiefly because Schwerpunkt is not my main uh, activity. I frankly, um, I'm doing something much more serious now in my life, uh, yet uh, in my daily schedule I do find the time for making these videos and that's part of my routine now and it helps also to stabilize my my psyche and uh, it's uh, it's great it's great I, I, I love to talk about these topics I, I can't wait to see what's what's next because I as I often told you I um, choose randomly the topics I will be talking about um, so um, yeah it's it's something I do with pleasure and up to this point you know there can't be problems in the future, but my intention for now, just for you to know, is to go, go on, and I think it's worth it, <coughs> excuse me, and I um, I genuinely think uh, it's um, uh, it's important for me, also because I'm learning a lot in the process, like, uh, as you understand, this is not just about telling things that I that I already know, but also expanding uh, my, my knowledge about this stuff. And the growth is low, of course, because of the video formula that remained um, 
and, and um, unchanged and uh, I realized it's a bit of a double-edged sword because definitely the the amount of subscribers I got is and I can see that compared also to other channels is much more responsive than others right uh, it's this is pretty interesting because it's a fewer people but can apparently more I, more than just more interested <laughs> into what I say in, in relative terms to, to other to other channels other content so I'm I think this is pretty meaningful and it's it's not banal to say that uh, honestly if I had to follow myself I I've, you know I, I wouldn't <laughs> um, I, I I don't think I would do it but this is just me of course I generally first of all I don't have time secondly I I instinctively distrust this is just me actually I, what things I hear that naturally on YouTube are um, you know th there is a, a an evident limit to the uh, to the quality that you can put up uh, out here you this is just a talk after all I don't uh, I often don't basically I never quote sources from which I, I find the stuff and, uh, and the reason being that actually what, what I speak every time is an original synthesis about things I put together uh, over time and that I repeat in a kind of autonomous way so I um, I I chose this formula at this point of sort of talking for so long because uh, I think that it's um, it, it, it responds to certain needs, right? It, it, it answers to, to certain questions that I think are are increasingly asked out here, right? Uh, looking around, uh, as we were saying right now, I, I don't look at other videos, but it, 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 ha it happens to, to come across to, to some to other channels, other contents, and, um, and the more I I look at that the more I realize how different what I doing here is I don't know if, if for, for better or for worse but also how uh, important it, it is that there is something different that there is a different way to tell certain things and and objectively from my perspective talking for hours about certain topics every day I wonder how you can condensate that like in five minutes like if it's 20 minutes it's 30 minutes yeah okay you can do it because my English sucks and I could do things in a in a much shorter time but um, I think that we need a bit more of a insight in, in certain topics and in talking about certain topics in the first place right the uh, Schwerpunkt ob uh, objective uh, main objective is to acquaint uh, th the larger number of people as possible with certain topics or better that anybody who has a particular curiosity about a topic that is often not addressed uh, that is not uh, popular that is you know people don't really don't don't care don't seem to care to think or talk about in the first place well you can come on YouTube and find something uh, about um, this is important because um, as I said also in other on other occasions other chan uh, video channel uh, uh, update uh, I um, I sometimes notice that there is an astonishing few amount of videos out here about massive topics like just something I did yesterday about the migration era for example I, I expected I don't know coming on YouTube that it was plenty of stuff like that you if you objectively type migration era here the first uh, uh, results are just two videos by Matt Easton who you know talks about basically migration era uh, panoplies and other stuff it's 20 minutes and 9 minutes but basically all the other videos are mine or otherwise they are fundamentally uh, about either modern migrations or something that really does not talk about in in detail or you know in general even about the migration era proper there are either very you know secondary topics that probably have nothing to do with that or simply they they are uh, it's other topics under the, the same name right so that is to me is is a big deal I mean the fact that I come first in these results and that there are people listening to me and I see that this is by the way one of the topics that most of the people comes uh, from 
uh, on Schwerpunkt um, to, to to search uh, uh, material for is, is is important, right? Because it means that uh, people care about these topics genuinely, but even if they don't find uh, on this specific media um, the answers that they need, right? And I'm not saying that I'm actually telling this, making these videos to, to necessarily answer the questions that they have, but rather to present them with a certain approach that naturally tends to, to look more broadly at certain topics, but from always from the within of them, right? So being generic, right? Um, but still mm, showing the, the complexity of certain historical uh, matters and and understanding why they do matter, right? And and why it is important to to have a historical culture that includes such ideas, right? Because it's never about the uh, you know the color of these topics. It's never about the the actual time or space. Uh, it's about understanding a political and social dynamic, which is much more important than than just telling a story that evidently you can read from Wikipedia without too many problems, right? So, um, as I was saying before this. Uh, actually, no, because I started recording, but I had a blackout at one point, and I, uh, well, I, <laughs> I, I will not enter into details now, but basically I had to record once again. Um, the, uh, however, I hope you, you got to the point. So, this is quite a big deal for me, because um, I honestly don't know where this channel will will go right i for example it's almost two years that i started schwerpunkt it's true that for the first um like six months i didn't upload regularly and it took me a while before uh creating somewhat decent uh contents um so it's a relatively young channel and it's um rising completely by itself meaning that i'm not sponsorizing it i'm not paying for anything if not my time and other resources uh, but essentially and because it was born a bit about an experiment I'm a bit of a since, since I was a kid I like to, to make experiments in a sense let, let's see how this system evolves without being um, you know uh, influenced right of course I do share my my videos sometimes because that's also interested well of course I have an interest for for the for this, uh, the channel to to rise more rapidly than than it does, but at the same time, it's a way also to to test how this whole thing works and uh, trying to understand, in fact, the schwerpunkt of this um, of this machine and um, sorting out all the, the best way to to work. And and I improved. I did improve. So over time, there even though if I I can't foresee them now. Uh, in specifically that there will be further improvement there will be further uh, attention at this point really um, that's um, I mean this formula is the best I can do right in terms of uh, contents preparation etc I, I can't do more right but for a matter of time because I have other things to do and they come first to Schwerpunkt but definitely Schwerpunkt is becoming important and um, it's amazing uh, I was uh, was thinking before about the th this amount of subscribers and it, uh, yeah it, it's a number but I mean it's you like it's people you know if if you were to to to, to be I don't know in a single room a pretty large room <laughs> that that's impressive that's really impressive and I and I care about those things and I think that at this point uh, you are somewhat um, uh, you know. A, I probably owe you something that we we can't even properly find out uh, in, and to, to objectify, but that is something that goes more uh, beyond the, uh, you know a channel or a simple interest. It, it's really about this doing this in a kind of a right way, right? So doing something positive, right? Building something tr uh, over time. This is this is important for me because, especially the very last years of my life, I'm evaluating very much the the importance of um, from one side of sacrifice from the other side but the, the necessity of, of of this effort for for not for a real e personal gain 
right? But for a broader uh, positive outcome of certain things. So I don't know, maybe I, I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> at this point, but um, I think it's important what we we are doing here because without uh, you know your views, uh, I would probably go on, but I still um, you you put some effort in here, right? I can see here how long you watch, right? So I can't tell that you dedicate a large amount of time to this channel. It's very it's very touching, very very moving. So um, further um, note. Uh, uh, you know that, as as we've seen, all, very often, historically speaking, when societies become a bit more complex, they also become a bit more controversial because they have to take choices that sometimes are not entirely, you know, uh, you know, they, they have to transcend a bit of goodness and be somewhat more righteous, right? The, which is, uh, 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 you know, a fair, um, a fair perspective, in my opinion. So, um, obviously, by uh, the the you know with the development of this channel things started to change also in a uh, kind of a negative sense you know for, for instance I, I have less time I can't answer you all right I try always to to be there to suggest especially you know when there is a legitimate question and you want to know more it, and if I can I always try to, to give an answer but it's, it will uh, I still can manage that but over time it will become more complicated sometimes in order to write a proper question it takes a while so I believe uh, that it's better to leave momentarily that question unanswered maybe I will talk about that in further videos so I created even this new series of uh, question and answers uh, that I don't know how much I will develop because after all I don't have proper direct questions very often but just certain considerations the real problem, though, is, some, is something else, is that um, talking about certain uh, uh, groups um, historically and certain, you know, countries, certain peoples, etc., it, it normally happens on YouTube that uh, that attracts uh, an awful lot, uh, still a contained number, though, in on Schwerpunkt in proportion, so I'm kind of happy <laughs> about that, of people who substantially think that every time you talk about that country, that nationality, that identity, it's always for uh, kind of a pol political agenda, right? Um, I made a video some time ago that you can find into the history and playlist that was dealing partially with this issue, like was the relation between history and politics and I was trying not to be in fact a hypocrite because the sense of the video was that even though I definitely don't want to talk politically in any way there is not a single person on this earth that by telling history has not been somewhat politically biased you know or better ideologically biased in the first place because the way we process information passes through narratives that we have to push for this or that reason in any way, right? So, Schwerpunkt's pride stands into uh, presenting history in an objective way, or at least in a way uh, that pushes towards objectivity, and that um, doesn't um, doesn't need to flatter, to to entice, to to attract in any way. Um, People think that this content is fundamentally designed to for pleasing them for because they belong to this group or uh, another one. So, as you know, I'm pretty you know uh, I'm more than happy to accept uh, people on Schwerpunkt of any single background possible, right? I I don't care, and I know that, as a matter of fact that you watch me from several parts of the world, even though my my actual, uh, actually, my statistics, geographical statistics, broke down since last year, and this is apparently a problem on YouTube that uh, many users experience. Uh, so I don't know precisely the, the quantities, but I presume you 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 really look from from everywhere, and this is pretty interesting to me. Uh, I, I wish this thing got fixed so that uh, there there was a bit more of a, uh, you know, of, of understanding about certain dynamics as well. The, so the the problem I have is not from the background that certain people have, but 
uh, it's evident that especially certain groups, um, and I'm talking about specifically large, large ones, but it's specific countries or areas of the world that seems to be obsessed by certain topics, like, you know, where their origins, their nationalities, uh, you know, who, who they conquered or the, who, the, who they descend from, you know, th this kind of stuff. And if you have been on YouTube for enough time, you've found uh, under every single uh, history video um, comments about this stuff, you know. And uh, so uh, sometimes it's really, uh, you know, it's not a big deal. Like someone writes something stupid that is also historically, evidently historically wrong. Um, and uh, I leave the comment there unanswered, of course, um, and just sometimes for, <laughs> not that I followed this com the comments actually on my channel, but every once in a while like, I, I come across my own videos and see that people have started battling over uh, certain specific comments for which I don't receive notifications because it's not a new comment, and so they start aggressing each other, it's an internal thing be between them. And um, uh, so, and that that all goes for Schwerpunk's <laughs> to Schwerpunk's benefit because people keep clicking on the video, and that in YouTube's algorithm is watched more stuff like that. Now the real problem, though, is so there's a way to self-correct this stuff, right? You know, I personally couldn't. Uh, so for me, it's already a problem to put so much content out there um, about history and you know living and sleeping at night with that <laughs> because of this reason. Because frankly, I don't care. I sleep. Uh, decently, uh, fortunately, um, but uh, if there is some, unless there is some noise that wakes me up, but um, the um, the general, uh, the, some something more serious comes also in more subtle forms. Actually, um, that that that's always like that. You know, knowledge entails a certain part of evil. You know, that's what the original sin is all about, and it's objectively true. I mean, the more you know, and the more you have potential for for evil. Right, and you, the more you can be subtle and uh, etc. So it, it happens uh, every once in a while to receive certain contents that are comments. Sorry, that are um, actually um, historically misleading. Right, uh, I'm not talking about people who, for example, complain. Like you know, I say something that <coughs> excuse me, either they disagree with for who knows which reason, or because they they misunderstand. Etc. Maybe we'll have to talk about that too. Um, and they criticize. You know, there are lo loyal and polite ways of criticizing. And as you know, just you take a look at my my you know my comments. Um, I'm very acceptive of you know if, if there is someone who has a problem with what I say and uh, this person backs the uh, you know his point with evidence etc. I you know I take uh, you know I, sometimes I I was corrected very pleasantly what it happened recently what it was that the, the, the video of the battle of Bulgarovic and I had made a mistake one of my followers that follows me from kind of last year said you know look here it wasn't like that and I said oh, okay and I even asked more actually because uh, there's something I had and un understood myself and this person uh, went finding uh, certain information I went finding some other so we, we shared that and it was kind of positive that what all this should be about. Actually, YouTube is not really the best platform for doing that, for for commenting. Like, it's a bit of a waste. Uh, Facebook is much better for articulating thoughts and speaking. So YouTube is uh, it's not entirely designed for, for this kind of talks. Uh, it, it's also easier to, to lose track of the comments, so it's a pity sometimes. Um, but it's also for that, right? And it's obvious that in, on a history channel such um, you know, such contents are obviously uh, criticized, historically speaking. And the problem is, actually, instead, when someone comments something that is um, definitely, uh, that has definitely a second aim, right? Um, I, I don't want to be more specific, because, frankly, every person does that in, in a, div, you know, kind of a uh, original, in, ingenious way. <laughs> Um, and uh, we're talking fundamentally about people who try to push a certain narrative of history uh, by uh, distorting a certain uh, historiographical concepts, etc. Now, history, you gotta admit, it's, it's mostly about that. Like, there is not a single historian that agrees with one another, one another and it, it's, um, 
it's a problem and debate is part of historical uh, research the problem though is when you kind of know that uh, what it takes fundamentally to, to know that that thing is wrong right so in order to dismantle all that effort to push certain narratives that at the end of the day have all of these reasons like it's either because the person doesn't like how his nationality uh, is portrayed by certain I don't know the uh, certain they have to, to, to strike back in some way because they can't hold themselves so uh, that happens disturbingly often in general it, it doesn't happen that often on Schwerpunkt fortunately but it did happen in part and at that point I um, I don't really I didn't really know how to respond in the sense that uh, I have limited time right so the main thing is you know uh, not answering possibly but the point is that the answer is uh, the, the question is going to remain there right not even if it is not actually a direct criticism towards the, the, the video or something but maybe it's something r literally wrong that you know is uh, uh, ideologically spoiled right um, I could easily answer sometimes sometimes less easily because um, these are kind of complex uh, criticisms uh, thoughts and um, it takes uh, time to debunk step by step like so it's not that every historian knows uh, literally everything like every single author every single publication especially in 2019 you know th so full books that you can't even but at the same time you can't know that certain you know historiographical uh, consensus exists about certain things like it's a bit like in science right um, we don't pretend consensus doesn't doesn't equate to um, to everybody agrees consensus means that like out of 180 percent agrees about something which doesn't mean once again by itself that that 80 percent is right just because it's majority but in the reality of of society in general uh, you know we came to to structure certain competent hierarchies for which if we arrive to one point especially in this very time in history it's because fundamentally that is right right so um, at this point I'm not going to to discuss further because certain things are changing in the world order also relatively to this matter but things in also in a much more complicated way than it apparently uh, than what it appears actually but certain topics instead are, are so evidently uh, you know certain thoughts are so evidently wrong that you know how how do I have to deal with this you know um, I personally hate to delete or to block but sometimes the reason it's so evidently uh, futile and um, and it, it it's vised and brings even sometimes some, some kind of animosity and um, tension among the you know the comments I think that I personally feel the need to uh, eliminate it or to respond to it and not um, maybe yeah waiting for the answer but it's kind of tiring and annoying so um, I think that uh, what a YouTube channel should be fundamentally about is listening and yeah commenting but in a way that uh, it's productive at the end of the day I frankly don't and I, I, I believe me I I can't get sucked into the uh, into the fight, uh, the taste of blood, testosterone, competition. This thing, you know, that YouTube is also a you know apparently male-dominated platform. Uh, there is this in here, and especially when we talk about history and then military history. Well, that's the, the clash of titans, right? Surprisingly enough, Schwerpunkt is a quite disciplined and ordered. Uh, channel in this sense we, because of its users you, you can be proud of that maybe it's von Klaus of its uh, <laughs> influence that that gives you this um, this order but um, the point is that there is always someone who, uh, that is not a, f a follower I must say most of the times it's just a uh, wandering mind that uh, that feels the need to to, com to complicate and uh, frankly I don't understand what the point is from from an individual point of view because you know I I perfectly understand the the fact of taking responsibility for example for mistakes and as we were saying before and you can how you can factually see I do like if I make a mistake I say 
did I okay okay yes you're right uh, it's true thank you and and I let there but when the thing starts becoming you know poli you know vi spoiled by this ideological thing I, I wonder even what these people have in their minds like you know do you wander around the internet to find someone to to disagree with at the end of the day like after the tenth time that you've seen that someone doesn't care that you think that that thinks that you are fundamentally crazy or uh, radicalized or something like you know uh, uh, ideologically speaking you know wh what's the deal there you, you want to spend your life basically arguing with people because you know with me I simply block you so it ends there <laughs> it's not a big problem but you know what's the point you know do you think that you live in a world which to which people believe the certain things just because you come there with this uh, evident politicized uh, and um, biased and uh, interested um, motives and pretend that people who kind of try to to reflect on history critically for, for all their lives uh, are going to take you seriously because that's what at the end of the day the, the point is right that, that, that there are certain levels that don't even can't even d tell the difference right certain people I assume it works like that they search on YouTube for their favorite group in history and they 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 click at every video and they say something ah this group ruled and they smashed this other people and we were cool and yeah and something like that um, that is not uh, a mature way of behaving so I don't know what's the age of these people I don't know what's the point and I repeat, on Schwerpunkt it didn't happen often at all, and I'm surprised by you know the few times. In all this time I had, in almost two years I had, I think I had to block only like uh, five or six people. Right? It, it's not a you know considering all of the interactions that happen in here, it's it's a bloody miracle, right? <laughs> you know, I don't know why it, it's really a miracle, believe me. So, but I I just wanted to make you aware about my. Uh, my intolerance, because I have literally zero tolerance towards these things. Um, recently, I, I even received some comments that uh, were pretty seriously. I mean, actually, only one, but you know, it was about uh, Jewish history. I perfectly understood what was the point. Anti-Semitism. Um, in fact, I even commented under that video to, to be very clear about the fact that I don't accept any kind. Of, of such things because I will eradicate such comments and there won't be any second time um, and um, and also to make you understand because that there is someone who cares that sometimes who cares exactly like you in keeping bullshit away right so this is important we, you have you are the only person who can evaluate the way this is done from my side as from anybody's side but just be aware that I care about having a healthy environment in which people can confront each other freely, politely, respectfully, and if those are the standards, you can't say uh, everything with the due, uh, you know, uh, uh, manners uh, and and uh, thoughtfulness, and everything is gonna be fine. So I. Uh, the channel is mine, so I decide what I what happens in here. But just be aware that I do this because I care about you f first of all. Because if it depended on me, I wouldn't care. I would simply block wherever I, I want or uh, leave uh, here wherever I want. The problem is you f you follow me, and I, I don't want you to uh, arrive in here and to have to read under the comments something that is uh, in the comment section something that is. Uh, unpleasant to say the least um, that doesn't bring anything on the table that is uh, fundamentally uh, disruptive uh, it doesn't have any constructive uh, aim uh, it, it's evidently ideologized it's evidently BS it's evidently wrong historically speaking I don't tolerate um, any form um, of, uh, of relativism um, uh, that's my thing, you know, th there is one truth. Now, the, the problem is that how people interpret this is that, oh, this means that therefore you, you accept only what you think is the truth. No, 
I think there is one truth. The problem is that we don't know what it is, right? But there is one, right? And the effort is heading towards the right direction in the first place. When you see someone that goes completely as straight, you can't say that this person is going to miss the point, and that's what makes him out of out, out of the question, right? You know, out of the story because um, it's uh, we're. I, I believe we are living in a moment of moral disorientation, not because it's our times, not because I I I think things are going particularly bad or but there is a, an objective problem of this kind and I think that we have individually the responsibility to to put an order, to put a a hierarchy, a you know, function to, to build a functional system, right? Not based on you know, wishful thinking, but on actual substance, right? So we have to be honest about this, and it's painful. It's bloody. I mean, it, it's a even a choice that produces uh, that 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 makes something uh, makes losing something in, in the process. But it's better to have lost certain things than the integrity of, of the wall, right? So. Um, this is particularly important because if we start accepting everything here just for saying well everybody has an opinion well we're making just a favor to moral relativism uh, the only thing that is equal is in this world hopefully in our in a society is the right to have an opinion and to express it but th this doesn't mean at all at all that opinions are equal Opinions are always different, just like every person is always different, right? So, and thank God for that. <laughs> you know, if that's that's the real, uh, that would make life the way it is with all the problems that that exist. But it couldn't be otherwise. So, um, um, I think that um, on me, you can always find. You know, if, if you have some problem, just tag me or write me or something because. I uh, have to be sure that everybody on this channel gets respected, that there is no gratuitous uh, offense and uh, and everything works the way it should work for anybody who just wants to enjoy the historical content and, not, and, and basically nothing else. right? And having it, uh, a talk about it, of course, but within the rules of of decency, right? So, yeah, I, I think I was clear in this part because you know, I uh, I hate wasting time. I hate um, this th the idea of losing something for for no reason because someone doesn't open uh, that is switch on his brain fundamentally. So, I uh, I want to give you the confidence that when you come here, you f find someone that understands such problems and doesn't just say, "Oh well, I don't care." You know, just deal with it yourself. I I do think that this is more then you know it's there's this relation between you and the channel that I have to safeguard right so I will try to do it the best and that's it um, so how will Schwerpunkt evolve fundamentally well this is kind of a difficult question um, I don't know at which rate or at which speed um, you know I will reach um, this the uh, first of all there is this soil 1000 subscribers that is particularly important because it has a um, theoretically you can start monetizing the content um, I'm pretty uh, doubtful that I will do it at least that I will do it uh, soon right I, I don't I don't have any particular interest in monetizing this channel because I think that the content is not at the point that you may want to be I mean I, I hate for you to, to looking at uh, advertisement and stuff like that so probably I will start something like uh, Patreon accounts if, if anybody will want to contribute to Schwerpunkt that's there but uh, I don't know frankly about monetizing this content because mm, I don't deem it fair uh, in general um, the um, the expansion will happen at one point. W what I think is that I may arrive at one point with someone will try to offer me uh, uh, something 
like for example this winter I don't know if I ever told you but um, th it was the Russian uh, a channel of Russian television who actually asked me to um, uh, for an interview uh, uh, if for a documentary about the the army of the Mamluks right it was pretty weird because they actually seemed to be pretty serious about that if, if anything they asked me uh, for a uh, you know an interview on Skype and they wanted to film me as well you know uh, aside from the fact that I don't have a webcam and I don't like to show myself uh, gratuitously but maybe for a documentary I don't know but it seemed weird in general I refused but that was kind of interesting because apparently someone uh, searched for the Mamluk army actually because the, the documentary was exactly about that and they found me right so I don't know whether in the future we will have this I will have similar opportunities I don't know um, my dream of course is to keep uh, you know working with history w w whichever th this is I have my own kind of more serious path to follow but hey you know the opportunities rise in in different ways I don't think it will ever reach the point at which people will be so interested in my contents that I will receive who knows which offer something like that uh, history sadly enough doesn't quite pay and um, it seems that uh, you know uh, I have to fortunately I, I don't have to worry excessively about such things but the um, I don't know I was thinking about the channel in general and what this could mean for it because I like talking here and uh, expanding so I won't be giving up this thing easily uh, I can assure you and I I will keep some contact I will definitely uh, keep uploading eventual contents or whatever uh, in here uh, it goes without saying um, the, um, the the rest of the growth who knows who knows uh, just recently I had quite of a um, uh, growth in terms of uh, subscribers and uh, views uh, partly due, due to the fact that I share but seemingly also because it's autumn so in the uh, northern hemisphere we have uh, evidently more people who stay home and uh, watch YouTube videos and there is an increase it was like that also last year so it's kind of funny how it works and um, uh, southern hemisphere is less populated so that's that's why it happens but um, I'm, I'm a bit riding this wave at the moment by sharing so increasing the, these interactions it seems to be working and I don't know it may as well be possible that by the end of the year or when we arrive to 1000 or whatever but you know that probably doesn't doesn't concern you that much um, in terms of contents um, I don't plan to change anything soon I think I will probably uh, expand maybe on certain topics at one point uh, something more like we will as we we're saying uh, expand other times and spaces and widening but you know wanting too much the range of topics at this point doesn't seem to be particularly um, useful because that would uh, entail to uh, to widen uh, once again the net of but uh, in this sense leaving more gaps in between so before I will I'll be able to to complete that it will take more time so Schwerpunkt for now concentrates chiefly on these topics of medieval history ancient history and and relative warfare that has to do um, oh yeah von Clausewitz let's talk a bit about him because from the stats I see that basically uh, very few people watch those con that content and absolutely I, I will not give up absolutely um, the, the there is a necessity for, uh, for talking about the von Kriege that I try to explain every single time it's obvious that people are not interested because they they don't fundamentally understand w what it is for right you know this is something that it's um, it has to be followed I mean you have to stay there with your mind and thinking and I see that there are people who follow those things um, 
regularly and but are very few so they know who they are and I thank them because uh, I know them uh, this and I appreciate very much but sometimes I wonder like because the the views are really really few let me give a look at the last well the last one was actually a bit more watched like 16 views <laughs> yeah but there is no comparison with others that reach the hundreds etc but here another from Clausewitz 13 view this other before 7 this other 7 this other 12 I mean 8 uh, here 30 I oh, know this is not about <laughs> Clausewitz of course this other 12 so it's very um, it's a very small number of views and I don't know how many people actually um, you know you know how many people actually follow the entire content um, the only thing aside from uh, things that I will that, that I explain the same phone calls of its videos is that um, that's quite of a, a rare thing that you have to um, to have someone reads and comment from Clausewitz because it on YouTube I, I've seen there is nothing like this there, there are some von Krieger audiobooks that are basically just the von Krieger read which frankly I, I don't understand where what it leads be to because uh, uh, the von Krieger is renowningly a book that you have to to stay there with your mind to to study in, in order to understand because it's not easy at all right so what's the point of listening t to a book like that it's not a uh, narrative that's not you know uh, it's not a story it's uh, it's actually something that it's a si it's a, an extremely complicated system that you can't listen in a few hours and understand nobody can um, that's the reason why I commented and I've made this point where right I think at one third of the phone Krieger so it's rel still a uh, long way to go and I made something like, um, well, whatever, but more than 50 videos, however. That's quite a, quite of a number, and uh, I don't think that anybody in terms of those uh, Clausewitz in commu uh, you know, um, communities or something, you know, have spotted it, but at one point someone will say, what the hell, there is this stuff out here, and we haven't heard about so that that could be an option to um, even for someone else to, to expand the knowledge of this old on this older and, and understanding the importance that it has towards uh, relatively to the videos I make I mean this is actually the thing that uh, surprises me the most I mean I understand what there are less views right and I would understand of course especially if uh, you know, this channel was exclusively about von Clausewitz, and people would say, well, I don't care about that, even though the name of the video is evidently, uh, uh, you know, from from the von Krieger, and the, uh, aside from the von Clausewitz avatar. But um, the point is that I try to comment on von Clausewitz also addressing topics that we address on the milita military history videos, right? And given that this channel is meant to be primarily about military history the concept is you know uh, it, it's a big deal in my, a pretty powerful indicator uh, on the general uh, lack of interest towards warfare in a serious sense the the lack of connection between you know the uh, in terms of views between the phone clause of its videos and all the others right so this is not a uh, you know complaint towards anyone specifically because it's obvious that if you don't like von Clausewitz you don't care uh, you don't have time you just simply want to look at your development of lay schools in the Middle Ages fine you know I created th the channel also for for that of course but um, sometimes it's uh, um, it's important to try certain things in my opinion uh, just for understanding wh what they are right so um, I don't know what your relation with von Clausewitz is whether you you appreciated him more or less by for example listening to some of my contents now um, but it's really worth it 
uh, it's really really important and I advise you to absolutely to listen to to that I mean not, or to simply read the book you know you don't have to listen to my videos actually you but as long as you understand why it is important and why that could be useful also for bettering the understanding of military history as a whole right um, so I don't plan to add any other new content here I was thinking recently of making something that could be anthropologically interesting uh, in a very peculiar way that was to to look at um, to read and comment certain comments uh, that appear under other channels videos um, uh, that are historically themed and see what these main comments are about because it happens to me astonishingly frequently to to look at them and to say and to understand an awful lot of things that you you wouldn't maybe even like to know <laughs> but that are equally important to make you understand a lot about how the people approach history or think history and sometimes it's disheartening because it, it really shows you the, the, the complete disorientation that sometimes exists uh, most of the times I would say I would go as far as that exists in, uh, in you know, in, in thinking history, you know, that on, on Schwerpunkt we don't make a, a fuss about too many, um, you know, uh, we, we don't care about sophistry very much in terms of um, certain expressions. We, we, we always remain at a level that is kind of digestible by anyone, but it, it's really the approach, it's really the thought of what and why people think, for example, history is, is relevant. That you know, if you made a survey about that, you you would you would find out things that, believe me, you wouldn't like to know. Um, and that part, this particle connects with what we were saying before about those, uh, you know, kind of a uh, chauvinistic uh, individuals who feel the need to to go uh, out there on the internet and try to propagate their own their own group and because they're so you know who knows why and then and, and raping history in the process you know um, so uh, maybe won't have that so statistically speaking I also here I see that not much has changed looking at analytics I have much more traffic than before we're uh, sharing I usually have now more than 800 900 even views in two days uh, which is not a lot but still something and um, relatively to statistics in here let me check about what's the yeah so it seems oh yeah because we have to check something that is interesting as well so definitely as you know YouTube for YouTube visualizations, uh, views do not really matter as much as watch length, right? So it's very important to, to go look at the relative and absolute watch length to understand certain certain things because views can be just a person clicking for one, uh, you know, watching for one second, seeing that doesn't like that uh, going away, right? Um, but it's interesting here because in, in this last almost two years, basically, we have 32% of the entire watch length comes from people who searched for a certain content on YouTube, right? And this content is not Schwerpunkt, or yes, actually, well, let me check, no, really not. Um, it's mostly, mostly about here I a list Sar because YouTube tells you these things: Sarmatians, Merovingian, Late Roman Army, Seljuk Empire, Cataphract, Migration Period, Pope Innocent III, Avars, Seljuk Turks, Pre Islamic Arabia, Roman Cavalry, Janissaries, Hohenstaufen, Merovingians, Merovingian Documentary, Battle of Manzikert, Sassanid Empire, Iconoclasm. Scythian documentary, Bulgars, Manzikert, Cilicia, Mamluk, Persian army, Scythians, etc. 
So, it's mostly about Eastern <laughs> stuff. You know, it's mostly about um, the the Seljuks. It's mostly about the Byzantines in some f form, the Scythians, the Sassanids, chiefly. So, uh, the Ottomans, and some also about the Franks. This is actually quite cool because my most watched video in absolute terms is this one about the Frankish Merovingian kingdom. It's pretty pretty interesting as a general here I can tell you uh, which one let me check uh, analytics of the most watched in absolute terms and in fact there are this um, first one, four ones that remain at the top brutally and the overwhelming majority, like this has been watched for, I don't even know how much this equates to, but it's uh, tens and tens of days, even months, that is Frankish Merovingian Kingdom. Like this is the most watched and viewed um, video in absolute terms. Then there, there is this other one, Avars, Bulgars, Magyars and Slavs, uh, migration era in Eastern Europe, that I admit that I created that title, uh, that uh, title, excuse me, for um, exactly for catching as many um, views as possible, at least. But that worked. Then beginning of the migration era. Then Scythians and Sarmatians at the roots of the migration era. So you realize this is basically all about migration era, right? And even the other videos are something basically close. The Alamanni history of Germanic people, Seljuk Turks, and Islamic world. Luxembourg, Bohemia, as well as particularly watched conflict bo uh, between Philip IV and Boniface VIII, pre Islamic Arabian introduction, Sassanid Persian army, and so on. So, uh, this is interesting because, it's because it seems that the majority of people who subscribe to this channel search for this broader. Uh, migration era period that is exactly what is lacking out there as we were saying before now this is very interesting I don't know whether there is a direct um, connection like because people uh, well they even play, as we've seen here they search for that there is a, a YouTube search so people actively search for these topics and they even play find mine because th uh, there is not much else out there why this happens, I don't know, but even if the interest towards these topics is not, uh, is lower, at least among those who produce videos, right? So it's it's it would be interesting to investigate, and this kind of s backs some <laughs> suspicion I have towards the intentions of of those who make videos, historical videos today at large. That is catching. Um, people's attention uh, talking about the same usual things like either the Templars or or the the fall of Rome you know this this things that always catch you know that, that, that became this uh, most spoken topics for, for no, I don't know exactly for which reason for the Spartans you know something like that but aside from from that um, I will obviously keep talking about the migration era. Probably I will restart what I what I finished, what I had begun and not finished last winter. That was a bit of a series on the peoples of the migration era. I made several videos made about the Vandals, the Burgundians, the Alamanni, um, the I don't remember specifically because I talked, of course, a lot about the Franks and the Longobards, but it wasn't part of that series. So I would like to start once again. A bit with the Goths, with the Anglo-Saxons, and with other populations, I mean, especially in the yeah the, the, the beginning, of course. The, I mean, the, the migration era, westernly meant, let's say, so the one that ends at least in Western Europe by the by the sixth century, um, and uh, hopefully expanding on that. So, uh, an eighteen percent of views, which means basically it makes together with YouTube search a 50% of the uh, watch length is from the uh, channels page which is also interesting because I don't know where do you get there from let me check 
it's not a terribly uh, amount it's a, it's a, a terribly critical amount of or oh, wait because this I think come also from yeah understand where they come from and but wait this people well I don't know here I, I don't know how to interpret that but it's mostly Schwerpunkt proper actually so it would be interesting to, to so there are people probably were starting to search for for my channel let me check the trend here and how much it yeah, there's been some some increase at one point from last year. Well, whatever. Yeah, probably it's because Schwerpunkt uh, also as a name is kind of rise because if you if you type Schwerpunkt, it appears a lot of stuff from the from you know uh, German uh, th stuff about the fact. Barry Center also like Schwerpunkt is translatable. So you you're not among the first, you know, a uh, well maybe it's not important now to say that, but it's um, it's something here navigational functions that I don't really know what it is. Oh yeah, it would be home page, watch later, subscriptions, chrono chronology of views. So yeah, this is interesting because it means that people start receiving this content partly also through through their own home um, and the YouTube account then the external views have dropped significantly from last year because more more people watch search for this stuff autonomously while last year I used to to share a lot so 69 percent of these are from Facebook of course where I share the stuff but there is um, a certain amount is not dramatically important from Google search as well. That probably you know it's not excessively important, doesn't appear so often. The others are relatively less important, but they make mass overall. For example, here the suggested videos are are starting to to surpass the external views. They probably already they have already done. Like there are way less people who watch this stuff from advice videos that than from my sharing on Facebook. But at the same time the amount of views strictly speaking is still powerful uh, from Facebook. And there is playlists it's a lot, uh, just a 5.5 percent watch length but it has the astonishingly relative um, watch length of 20 percent right which is normal for playlists that they're watched for a longer time because you click them and they they start the rest is notification playlist page other other YouTube's function and and I have an astonishing and interesting uh, 60 um, six, uh, 1600 <laughs> views from uh, indirect or unknown source which means you know being spied upon by who knows which planet um and uh, yeah that that's pretty much it so on, on this field you know stats remained unvaried there is uh, compared to the last time there is just a an increase in the number of a steady increase in the number of people that uh, searched for this channel but especially in relative terms uh of those who now start searching directly for Schwerpunkt and receiving notifications stuff like that so this is interesting because it it means that th the channel in itself is is requ is uh, requested more than actually coming across it by chance um, yeah I'm pretty sure I'm missing something I wanted to tell you but I can't remember it now um, uh, I don't know, maybe it was just my existential doubts suggesting me that there is always something that will go terribly wrong <laughs> in some way um, that I... Uh, but yeah, th this is really it and uh, subscribers increased of course sensibly um, a bit over time the average watch length is, is um, 7 
minutes which is fairly high because YouTube average is like three minutes and uh, I have the impression it's going slowly down because of many views that seemingly have triggered I don't know how but this algorithm works by sharing recently some videos I reached in one day like uh, more than 800 views and I'm sure most of the people didn't didn't actually stop to to watch so whatever to watch the the whole length of course not even a, a mini a small part yeah so what can I say about this all things seems to be working <laughs> relatively fine uh, I personally don't need to increase excessively at this point for the next year the commitment to this channel more than the way I already do because I have other dr very dramatically important things to do and probably even afterwards but I still can find the time apparently for doing this um, the numbers of videos are you know I'm making putting out once a day so it's fine uh, given that one third of them is from Clausewitz it's not bad as an amount of of views in general and um, and I'll keep going on right there, there is no point to stop at this point and I there's no stopping point like from my from my perspective I only started <laughs> I only tried right to, to start um, uh, so we'll see we'll see where this will lead um, and um, yeah I can't think of much else right now so for now I just want to thank you particularly for all the again for all the support that you have given to me to me it's quite meaningful right it's it's um, it's mind-blowing I, I, I didn't think I would I mean people would even listen to me <laughs> in the first place so you know had the worst possible scenario and um, I'm rather not searching for for appreciation as I was telling to you I'm searching for uh, you know for un for understanding of history which which is very different right you know even if I got all these likes or whatever I I, I wouldn't care I, I would still do this because I believe that once you, you put this in out there that there is someone who catches that that and, and changes his thinking by certain a certain amount and I hope for for the best of course um, and history is probably the most powerful medicine for for developing um, let's say for for countering uh, certain dogmatic and irrational ideas like you know history is this great mind whitener right and is capable of um, of clarifying so much about our life at the end of the day it's it's an existential problem right we don't talk history because we have an agenda like those people who want to propagate something you know we we talk about history because we know how useful it actually is in everyday life and who, who loves history knows this that it's actually not just a romantic or platonic ideal it's really about a functional benefit right it's a consistent benefit you can draw from that so of course we will be talking about lots of other things um, I have some video in uh, in store I think I have to in, I'm planning to make video for example on how Facebook uh, history groups work that that's dramatically fascinating uh, once I will try to explain that and uh, because you find out so much and tells you how people approach history and how they, they, they interact with each other and they develop their own um, mind um, accordingly and this is a bit like competition personally I, I don't see it uh, I see it more a competition with myself than with the, the outside world that's the, probably the only way I, uh, I can I can't bear this uh, and it's always a, a mental trick at the end of the day um, there is uh, so much I could tell you it also happened sometimes that wasn't um, 
wasn't very pleasant, but that, that brings other thoughts on, on the table. Uh, it didn't happen on YouTube, uh, it happened on Facebook, but that was a pretty strange thing that happened. Um, and um, it would be interesting to expand on that because obviously, you know, I understood what happened, but it, it's so strange that certain things happened in the first place. Um, uh, there is a lot to learn from here, and then if you wonder how it is from the other side to, to manage uh, a YouTube channel, if you're uh, with you know this amount of videos, if you're never uh, done it, you know it, it's pretty pretty interesting actually. You know, it, you don't earn anything uh, from it uh, unless you you know don't make big views, but it's not my case evidently, and um, I I'd say, however, it you, it gives you some balance. You know, it teaches you how to to keep certain things un under control and trying to to work better on them, right? So I'm personally satisfied by how things are going on the channel, and you seem to be particularly helpful for for the whole thing overall. You're you're probably the greatest help I have in doing this. Believe me or not. It's not just motivational; it's actually functional. I mean, the, the way you interact, the way you you watch, you you appreciate, it has an impact, right? It does make a difference. If you like history, if you think that these contents are valuable, if they have a meaning, they can they can make a a difference. Well, the way you interact with them, it's very very important. Never think it's just you know, uh, just one view, just one. No, it it it, it counts. It does matter, and it, it does make a real difference in the world, right? So, um, I, w I will never, uh, you know, my point is not asking you, as I do, I'll bite every end of the video, to subscribe and to share, especially. But um, what, I, what, what I mostly care about is that this contents are seen for the, the <sighs> it's difficult to explain for the potential effect that, that they can have now not the potential that they have themselves but the way people can react to them and the uh, the spin off that it can create overall because uh, you know uh, expressing an articulate thought can make an enormous difference. Right? There were times in my life, even when I studied history, which I attributed uh, a great importance to um, to big uh, equations, like to, you know, to, to structure, to material, a materialist view of life. Sometimes, I mean, I never had a materialist view of life, but you know, there is a material side of the story that is evidently important, and I got fascinated with it. But actually, it's ideas have an enormous power they like with a very few you you can achieve uh, a, an enormous lot right so the way you can do even a small um, a small click can change enormously uh, l uh, s even someone's life never underestimate this that all of your actions have consequences that go that you let go out there, that you're not even um, uh, aware of, like you don't think about it. I, I op uploaded now 500 videos out here. I, I do think, right, and it's not, um, uh, it, it does pose a problem, but that that's the point I would like to say, that, that this 500 videos altogether maybe made a difference for someone that truly mattered, right, that it is not just uh, an emotional thing or sentimental thing. It's really that you know, someone's life's changed maybe because by getting interested in a certain topic, they have discovered something that uh, that that changed their life. That that made them, I don't know, uh, starting eventually, you know, to taking a decision what to study or what to do with their lives. That, that can happen. I mean, it happens all the time. To it happened to me too, right? It happens to me. Uh, often, I would say often. Um, so, let's be aware of the po of the possibilities that we have, of the true potential that we have, what we can do with it. Because that's the only way we have to 
to think what's best, right? Um, there is not just a matter of responsibility following to action, because also inaction has a consequence, right? Um, and 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 uh, has a re responsibility attached to it. So we're you, we're never we're never distant. We idle. We we don't have less. We don't preserve our, ourselves more than who tries to do something, right? It, it it can be risky. It can be more controversial sometimes. Can bring to more um, problems uh, in some way. But it's really worth it, and it can make. Um, a lot of difference once again. So for now, um, this was a bit. I ran out of breath because I, you know, I, I had um, recorded like uh, a quarter of an hour at the beginning, and then I stopped because I usually edit so when I don't find a word, or then I cut the end and then reattach the the other. Then I started another f f for another 15 minutes and more. If anything, there, there was a blackout, <laughs> so I uh, I lost basically the second track. I had still the first one, but I didn't like it at that point because it was not a single stream like this one, and I had to restart over once again. So I ran out of breath. I could have easily talked for another half an hour. <laughs> um, you know, maybe it's better to to stop it here because after all, it's, there is not so much to say. Uh, and I'm sorry, but when I make this video um, with this channel updates, I'm I'm sorry when I end them because uh, I do them very rarely, right? And uh, and the reason why I do it, is of course, that they don't get anywhere. It's just me talking about this stuff. It, it's not a big deal. Uh, but I always leave with a sense that I could tell you more <laughs> till next time, you know. Uh, who what what's next time? Maybe I will never arrive to 600 videos. Who knows? I you know I ran over, get ran over by a car or something. You know, I'd, uh, um, it it can. Uh, life is strange, really. Life is very strange, but it's very beautiful as well. And um, and that's what makes me do certain things because I, I want to find my own way, of. Um, Let's say of adding that extra thing, you know, that that I that I can't do, right? It's not that other people that that I'm the only one who can't do it, but it's it's still me doing it, you know. That that's what matters to me, um, and I don't know. I'm I'm still trying, so be patient because I have my own limits, uh, and evidently, and uh, I uh i feel them and i confrontate myself with them every time i make these videos and i uh, think about what to tell next time so um, i would like to expand more probably you've understood that i'm kind of an introverted person uh but i don't have that great difficulty to 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 express myself at the end of the day um i just don't have an uh you know an occasion so and i don't think that on a channel update should be telling more than much uh, after all so uh, I just leave you with this bizarre note that these are the problems I pose myself regularly just for <laughs> just for the record and all right so it was 500 videos uh, almost 800 subscribers thank you again uh, I hope that you enjoyed also this um, channel update video and if you are interested in my comments of course as always uh, feel free to subscribe and share my videos if you, and if you're is interested especially to hear more right because it, it, I say this uh, at the end of every video but that's really what makes the difference as I was saying before you know that click more that uh, doesn't seem but it, it, it does make uh, it can change a lot right so it's important. So, once again, thank you. I uh, hope you'll have a great time. And see you next time. Bye.